Yes, people, welcome to the first edition of BBC Sports Quarantine Quiz, coming to you weekly from various indoor self-isolation locations. My name is Liam Loftus and I am your host, your quiz master, your friend, all of that. Now, I'm assuming like me, you're all stuck inside on a Friday night. So what we're going to do, we're going to have some good, clean fun from the comfort of our homes with a good old fashioned quiz. We've got three rounds, 10 questions, and each round is based on a different topic. The answers will be revealed at the end of each round. Tonight, we have football trivia, sport meets pop culture, and who said it? We'll be sharing some of the best tweets, so don't forget to use our hashtag BBC Sport Quiz to let me know how you're getting on. Now, we've already had a couple of team names come in, and I'm not going to lie, they're pretty good. But my favourite is from Chris Gaming HD, which is pull your pants down, which is just mad. I might have to steal that for my first pub quiz when I get out of isolation. Right, make sure you've got your pen, a piece of paper, a drink, some snacks. Let's get quizzical. Wallet. Right, question one. Wigan Athletic ran a competition to let primary school children design their mascot for the 2019-20 season. What was the winning entry? Okay, I'm going to repeat it again. Wigan Athletic ran a competition to let primary school children design their mascot for the 2019-20 season. What was the winning entry? Now, for me, I love the idea, but I remember what I was like drawing in primary school, and I don't think I could have designed a mascot. So props to them, because that is wavy. Question two, which defender has kept clean sheets in goal this season? I was actually at that game, which is a bit of a mad scene. It was a boring game, but that made it very exciting. So that was which defender has kept a clean sheet in goal this season? Question three, who is the most expensive ever teenager in football? I mean, he might be one of my favourite place players at the moment I cannot lie again that was who is football's most expensive teenager ever question four which Premier League winner's father played rugby league for Wales I mean that is a sporting family which Premier League winner's father played rugby league for Wales question five which three clubs have only spent a single season in the Premier League and you know what? I'm feeling kind. So you'll get a point for each correct club. Yeah, why not? So that was which three clubs have only spent a single season in the Premier League? And remember, if you've missed a question, you can head over to our live text and all the questions will be there. So, yeah, it's all good. Question four. No, question six. I'm getting ahead of myself. Embarrassing. Who has the most Champions League winners medals? Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi? Who has the most Champions League winner medals? Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi? I guess that's a bit of a battle of the GOAT. You know, actually, let me know who you think is the GOAT. Throw it in with the hashtag BBC Sport Quiz. Messi or Ronaldo, what are we thinking? Question seven. Who has made the most Champions League appearances? And now I know that could be crazy for you. So what I'm going to do I'm going to get it down and I'm going to do three answers for you. And you just got to pick the right one. A, Ika Casillas. B, Ryan Giggs. Or C, Cristiano Ronaldo. Question seven. Who has made the most Champions League appearances? A, Ika Casillas. B, Ryan Giggs. Or C, Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, question eight. This is another multiple choice one, so do not worry. I will sort you out. Who is the top scorer in this season's Champions League so far? A, Harry Kane. B, Robert Lewandowski. Or C, Erling Haaland. Who is the top scorer in this season's Champions League so far? A, Harry Kane. B, Robert Lewandowski. Or C, Erling Haaland. I mean, these have all been on pretty good form. So it might be a tough one unless you're an absolute diehard and you've not missed a single game and you're just consuming all that Champions League football. Moving on, question nine. Like, this could be a tough one. For me, I didn't know a lot of these. Right, let me get into it. Can you name the three Dutch managers to have managed a side to FA Cup glory? And you know what? I'm feeling kind again. You can have a point for each one. Can you name the three Dutch managers to have managed a side to FA Cup glory? 
And now the final question of round one, question 10. Who is the Premier League's all-time top overseas goal scorer? Who is the Premier League's all-time top overseas goal scorer? So that is the first round over and done with. Don't forget, guys, the questions are all on our live page if you've missed any. So you can go back. I'm going to give you a few minutes. You can check your answers, chat to your friends, go get snacks, get a drink, go to the toilet, all of that. And I'm going to see what you lot have been saying on Twitter. So we have more team names here. Charlie, Charlie B. I'm going to say Charlie B. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the pronunciation. I'm not going to do that to myself. He has gone Lalana's in pyjamas. It's good. It is good. Jamie Rowe has gone the Pookie Blinders. You know, you know what? I'm feeling that. That was good. Hmm, let's keep looking. Keep looking through these. Um, this one is just sort of, it just sort of says what it is on the tinge. I mean, M Pricey87 has gone FC isolation. I mean, it doesn't really get much like that. Talking of isolation. Me, I've been glued to the TV. I've been watching Netflix nonstop. What have you lot been watching? Tweet in with that hashtag BBC Sport quiz because I'm telling you now, I'm almost running out. And we're going to keep moving on now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to recap the questions again just for those who missed them. I'm going to run through them relatively quick. Question one, Wigan Athletic ran a competition to let primary school children design their mascot for the 2019-20 season. What was the winning entry? Question two, which defender has kept a clean, shot, clean sheet in goal this season? Question three, who is football's most expensive teenager ever? Question four, which Premier League's winner father played rugby league for Wales? Question five, which three clubs have only spent a single season in the Premier League? I remember that's a point for each answer. So don't worry if you're not getting all of them, you can still pick up one or two points. Question six, who has the most Champions League medals, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi? And this is, these now are coming up to the multiple choice. So what I'm going to do is get on to them. Who has made the most Champions League appearances? Is it A, Ike Casillas, B, Ryan Giggs, or C, Cristiano Ronaldo? Eight, who is the top scorer in this season's Champions League so far? A, Harry Kane. B, Robert Lewandowski, or C, Erling Haaland. Question nine, can you name the three Dutch managers to have managed a side to FA Cup glory? Again, a point per answer. I'm sorting you out. And number 10, who is the Premier League's all-time top overseas goal scorer? I've just had a tweet come in from Andrew French, and it is a bold, bold claim. He has said, never mind Messi or Ronaldo, there's only one GOAT. Troy Deeney. It's mad. I think Deeney's a baller, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's a bit um, of a wild one. But make sure you keep tweeting in using the hashtag BBC Sport Quiz. And you know what? Let's get into the answers of round one. How's everyone feeling? Before we do that, how is everyone feeling? Because I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I've seen the questions and I didn't know a lot, but been scribbling down. We keep it moving. So the answer for question one of round one. Wigan Athletic ran a competition to let primary school children design their mascot for the 2019-20 season. What was the entry? And the answer is Krusty the Pie. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm not a huge pie fan. I cannot lie to you. I'm more of a, maybe like a little juice or something. But he won. Everyone is buzzing. Don't take a little sip of water. Right. Question two, the answer. Which defender has kept a clean sheet in goal this season? The answer is Kyle Walker from Manchester City, who replaced Claudio Bravo after getting sent off against Atalanta. Um, yeah, I was actually there for that game, and that was bizarre. The, the Mitch match of the kit was, uh, yeah, I was moving a little bit mad. Who is football's most expensive teenager? This is question number three, and the answer is... Kylian Mbappe signed for PSG for a staggering £165 million, which is just crazy. Question four, which Premier League's winner's father played rugby league for Wales? And the answer was Ryan Giggs. Question five, which three clubs have only spent a single season in the Premier League? 
So you get one mark for Swindon Town, one mark for Barnsley, and one mark for Blackpool. And um, I don't really remember the others. I'm not going to lie to you. I remember Blackpool, um, led by a talisman called Charlie Adam, absolutely balled out this season. I was sad to see them go. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. Who has the most Champions League winners medal? Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? This is question six. And the answer is Cristiano Ronaldo with five. Messi is close, though, with four. Question seven. Who has made the most Champions League appearances? Now, I gave you three answers. I gave you Iker Casillas, Ryan Giggs and Cristiano Ronaldo. And the correct answer is, with a staggering 177 appearances, which is mad, is Iker Casillas. Question eight. Who is the top scorer in this season's Champions League so far? Now, they've had a ridiculous season, but it is Robert Lewandowski, who has 11 goals in six appearances, which to me is moving a bit mad. I mean, I've been playing pro clubs and I can't even say my uh, pro is boasting that record. So yeah, shout out Robert Lewandowski. Question nine. Can you name the three Dutch managers that have managed a side to FA Cup glory? Again, you're going to get a point for each correct answer. So we've got the first one is Ruud Hullet for Chelsea in 1997. Next is Goose Hiddink for Chelsea in 2009. And finally, Louis van Gaal with Manchester United in 2016. The final one, before we have another look at some tweets, who is the Premier League's all-time top overseas goal scorer? Sergio Aguero took the honour from Thierry Henry in January. He now has 180 goals, which is kind of mad. So let's get into these tweets. Um... Simon Knighting says his team is I so late to the party. Uh, you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Also, can Paul on Twitter ask, can we have a point for our pie? Uh, you know what? It's a Friday. We're all stuck inside. I'm going to give you a point for that. I'm, feel I'm feeling kind. You know, it's, it costs nothing to be kind. So you can have a point for that. Do not worry. Make sure you keep sending all your stuff, BBC Sport, quiz, hashtag it. Also, what I want to know is, what's everyone's setup looking? Are you doing it like in a team, all on Zoom? Or are you in a room together? Are you running solo? Um, yeah, how are you doing? I'm currently in my kitchen. So yeah, I've kicked all my housemates out there, ducked in a living room, and we are pressing through. Moving on to round two of the questions. Sports meets pop culture. Everyone ready? I'm going to repeat the questions twice, as always. We'll go out, we'll have a little chit chat and we'll get it moving. So question one of round two. Which sports star featured as a character in the Cars movie? Again, which sports star featured as a character in the Cars movie? I didn't know this. I'm going to I'm going to hold my hands up and say I had no idea. Yeah, it is what it is. You learn, every, you learn a little bit every single day. Question two. Which Premier League footballer featured in Dave's music video, Black? Which Premier League footballer featured in Dave's music video, Black? Um, also, shout out Dave. He's been absolutely smashing it. Um, his Brits performance, ridiculous. I mean, his whole album takes you on a journey. So, yeah, love that guy. Love listening to his music. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's see what people are listening to. So, yeah, what have you been listening to whilst you've been in isolation? Hashtag BBC Sport quiz. Let me know what have you been, what's been on your rotation? Question three. Now, this one is tough, but I'm going to give you a point for each correct answer. Which four professional golfers make up the boy band Golf Boys? Which four professional golfers make up the boy band Golf Boys? Yeah, that's real. Don't worry. That is actually real. Question four, which former tennis player released a single Oxygen in 2012? This is a multiple choice again, so do not worry. I will give you three to choose from. I mean, that's a one in three if you don't know. So they're, they're good odds. I'm offering, that's, that's nice from me. So A, Caroline Wozniacki, B, Maria Sharapova, or C, Anna Kornikova. Which former tennis player released the single Oxygen in 2012? Was it A, Caroline Wozniacki, B, Maria Sharapova, or C, Anna Kornikova? 
Question number five. Which actor was part of the English diving team at the 1990 Commonwealth Games? Was it A, Jason Statham, B, Danny Dyer, or C, Jude Law? Which actor was part of the English diving team at the 1990 Commonwealth Games? Was it A, Jason Statham, B, Danny Dyer, or C, Jude Law? And now, I mean, you can be good at acting, cool, that is absolutely wicked, but then you're good at diving as well. I mean, please, brother, share some of the talent around because that is crazy. Question six. Ex-tennis player Anna Ivanovic is married to which retired German footballer? Ex-tennis player Anna Ivanovic is married to which retired German footballer? Question seven. Which TV presenter won the French Open in 1976? So cast your mind back, or if you've been on Wikipedia recently, have a look and all of that. Which TV presenter won the French Open in 1976? Question eight. Which former English rugby union player has switched sports to become an MMA fighter? Which former English rugby union player has switched sports to become an MMA fighter? Question nine. Now this, again, is a multiple choice. I'll read them all out for you and you decide which one you think is right or the one that you like the most. I'm not too bothered. But yeah, it's all about having fun. What London-based football club does actress Margot Robbie support? Is it A, Chelsea, B, Fulham, or C, Arsenal? What London-based football club does actress Margot Robbie support? Chelsea, Fulham, or Arsenal? And the final question of round two, which famous singer played in a charity cricket match at Lords with hair dyed green? Yep, uh, it's not a trick question, that actually happened which famous singer played in a charity cricket match at Lords with dyed green hair? And guys, don't forget the questions are all on our live page. So if you've missed any, go back and have a look, have a think. Do not worry about all of that. We will wait for you. We've got another little break. I'm going to look at what you've been saying and probably just have a little drink now, you know, just, just get in the mood. So let me look at the tweets. What do we have here? We have from Camberwell Ed. Top man, mention Chipperham, please. Shipperham Massive, shout you lot out. Hold tight. Where are we next? My only input was the Wigan Pie answer. And you know what? I've got to respect it. You've got to know about the food. Someone is asking, Andrew Terry, can I have my a point back, please? My kids convinced me it wasn't Lewandowski. And we're wrong. See, I mean, I, I can't do that, but... I don't want to say this, but maybe like start up a little side team. Just keep just keep it a little pad in your pocket and then just see how you get on after. Because you know what? Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta bow down and let the kids do what they want to do. Make sure you keep sending in all your tweets, hashtag BBC Sports Quiz. And we have one right here. 1341. So this person, Rich Hook, thinks he may have peaked with the football round. Hey, listen, don't worry. There's, there's questions for everyone. There's questions in there. If you went in there and you smashed the first round, that might hold you up. I'm not going to lie to you. It might have done well. Okay, so here we are, the end of round two. Let's get back in and have a look at the answers. Are people feeling confident? Hashtag BBC Sport Quiz. Let me know. How are you doing so far? What, what are you thinking? Are you feeling all right? What's your scores? I want to know those people's scores. Right, let's get into this. So question one was, which sports star featured as a character in the Cars movie? And the correct answer was Lewis Hamilton. And I'm going to tell you now, like I did before, had no idea. I might watch it tonight and listen for it because, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I heard him in there. Again, that was question one. Which sports star featured as a character in the car movie, Lewis Hamilton? Question two. Which Premier League footballer featured in Dave's music video, Black? And that was Raheem Sterling. The video is lit. Um, if you've not seen the video, 
make sure you go back and watch that song bangs and the video is very cool again which premier league footballer featured in dave's music video black and the answer was raheem sterling number three which four professional golfers make up the boy band golf boys yeah bubba watson ricky fowler hunter mayan and ben crane so that was which four professional golfers make up the boy band Golf Boys. And that was Bubba Watson, Ricky Fowler, Hunter Mayan, and Ben Crane. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I had no idea about that whole band even existing. Um, is anyone listening? Have they got an album out? Was it a mixtape? I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, maybe we should um, be listening to that. Maybe that'll be the first song on the club when we all get out. Do you know what I mean? Um, question four, which former tennis player released a single oxygen in 2012? Now I gave you three answers, but the correct answer was A, Caroline Wozniacki. That was which former tennis player released a single oxygen in 2012? That was Caroline Wozniacki. Have people listened to that? Yeah, hashtag BBC Sport. Let me know if people have listened to that. Or if you're at home right now, which you should be because self-isolation and that, Play it. I want to know if it's a banger or not. Question five. Which actor was part of the English diving team at the 1990 Commonwealth Games? And now this is answer A, Jason, Jason Statham. Which actor was part of the English diving team at the 1990 Commonwealth Games? And that was answer A, Jason Statham. And now I think I've seen a picture of him in his diving gear like at at the Commonwealth Games. So if someone can like dig that out and tweet that in, um, that would be really helpful. And I'd really, really thank you for that. So yeah, question six, ex-tennis player Anna Ivanovic is married to which retired German footballer? And the answer was Bastian Schweinsteiger. That was question six, each tennis, uh, each ex-tennis player Anna Ivanovic is married to which retired German footballer? Bastian Schweinsteiger was at Bayern Munich, Manchester United. And then I think he ended at maybe Chicago Rapids. I could be wrong. I think it was a Chicago team. Yeah, good thing that's not an answer because I would have got that wrong. Question seven. Which TV presenter won the French Open in 1976? And that was our very own Sue Barker from the BBC Sport Tennis Presenter. So that was question seven of round two. Which TV presenter won the French Open in 1976? Sue Barker. Question eight. Which former English rugby union player has switched sports to become an MMA fighter? I mean, rugby union is tough, but making a move to MMA? Yeah, this guy must be very, very tough. And that is James Haskell. Question eight. Which former English rugby union player has switched sports to become an MMA fighter? And the answer was James Haskell. I feel like that's quite recent. So maybe you have seen that in the news, stuff like that. Question nine. What London-based football club does actress Margot Robbie support? And I gave you three answers again. And the correct one was B, Fulham. Um, I actually really like Fulham. I went to Craven Cottage last year and it was like a ridiculously nice day. And yeah, you know what? I've got a soft, soft, soft spot for them. I um, really enjoyed the day. And the cottage is actually in the stadium, which blew my mind. But yeah, hold tight, Fulham. That was question nine. What London-based football club does actress Margot Robbie support? And, a question, and the answer was B, Fulham. Number 10. Which famous singer played cha a charity cricket match at Lords with dyed green hair? And I told you once, and I told you again, it's not a trick question. It was Sir Elton John. And you know what? That's kind of legendary. I don't know if he was like trying to blend in with the turf and all of that, or if he was just being a legend. But that was question 10 of round two. Which famous singer played in a charity cricket match at Lords with dyed green hair? Sir Elton John. Now I'm going to look through. I've just got loads of tweets through here. So you know what I'm going to go through. Emma Beckett, loving this quiz. We are doing so well. Yeah, shout out you lot. How good is so well though? Because to me, so well is maybe 60%. You know, that's, that's all right. But I don't know what if our, if our things are different. You might have gone for like 100%. Matt Cave, a respectable 11 in round one. 
I'm pretty sure it's only 13 points up for grabs. So that is ridiculous, Matt Cave. Pat yourself on the back. Phil Smith, really enjoying the quiz tonight with the lads on Zoom. I'm telling you now, Zoom is the new thing. All I'm saying is, once this is over, my friends better not expect me to start going outside because if you're going to the cinema, just throw me on Zoom. I can do it on my bed, do you know what I mean? It's sweet as. Next up, Alex Clegg, big up to you for getting the golf answer right. Really chuffed the golf boys are in a... Honestly, Mr Clegg, bravo, because that was one of the craziest questions I have ever seen. I would have been probably a little bit stressed if that had come up for me. But here we are. We are on the final round. But before that, don't forget to check the questions on our live page. If you missed any, the answers will be there as well. And you know what? I've just had a, just had a request. Um, we've actually got a special guest in. We're really um, tight here. So as you know, not really big names available. But I have a little dog named Kobe. He's actually sleeping at the moment. But I'm going to get him up. Come in, mate. Here he is, Bosch. He's been my co-pilot all day, sat next to me, chilling. And do you know what? He's, he's been working. I think he's dealing with working from home not too bad. He looks absolutely furious. Are you annoyed, mate? Don't worry. I got him a little treat. Here we go. Cheers for your hard work, mate. Get yourself off. Right. Round three, final round. And don't forget, guys, the questions are on the live text and I'll be reading them out twice as always. And this is, who said it? Question one. Which Premier League football manager said this? If you don't know the answer to the question, then I think you are an ostrich. Which Premier League football manager said this? If you don't know the answer to the question, then I think you are an ostrich. And now again, I've got three answers for you. Multiple choice one. Is it A, Sir Alex Ferguson, B, Jose Mourinho, or C, Nigel Pearson? Um, I just think that's absolutely crazy. Walking in and just calling everyone ostriches. I mean, Lelisi didn't swear, so you can, you've got to respect it. You've got to respect it. I will read the question again. Which Premier League football manager said this? If you don't know the answer to the question, then I think you are an ostrich. And that was out of the three, A, Sir Alex Ferguson, B, Jose Mourinho, or C, Nigel Pearson. Number two, at Wimbledon 2019, which tennis player said this to a journalist in a post-match press conference? Please don't patronise me. In the way you're asking your question, you're being disrespectful and patronising me. Ooh, that one got a bit tense. At Wimbledon 2019, which tennis player said this to a journalist in a post-match press conference? Please don't patronise me. In the way you're asking the question, you're being disrespectful and patronising me. I, I'm telling you now, I wasn't there, but I can guarantee that press conference went silent. Moving on, question three. Which footballing legend said, when the seagulls follow the trawler, it is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea? Which footballing legend said this? When the seagulls follow the trawler, it is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what that means. So if someone can decipher, what is that called? Decipher? Yeah, that's the word. If someone can decipher that for me and put that in regular chat, let me know. Hashtag BBC Sport Quiz and, you know, dumb it down for Liam. Just, just, be, just be serious. I don't even mind. Question four. Which MMA fighter said this? Me and Jesus are cool. I'm cool with all the gods. Gods recognize gods. Huh, that's a, that's a bit of a bold claim. But I will read it for you again. Which MMA fighter said this? Me and Jesus are cool. I'm cool with all the gods. Gods recognize gods. Question five. Now I've got multiple choice for you. So I'll read out all of the answers after I've read the question. In response to the question, what would you be if you weren't a footballer? Which former Premier League star said, 
a virgin. Yeah. What would you be if you weren't a footballer? To which he replied, a virgin. Was it A, Peter Crouch, B, Roy Keane, or C, John Terry? Question six. Which boxer said this? Shame on you. You let a fat man beat you. As simple as that. Shame on you. You let a fat man beat you. Mad. Question seven. Which female footballer said this after receiving criticism for her goal celebration? My celebration was actually more about that's the tea. Sophie Turner does it quite often. She's one of my favorite actresses. Which female footballer said this after re receiving criticism for her goal celebration? My celebration was actually more about that's the tea. Sophie Turner does it quite often. She's one of my favorite actresses. Question eight, which sports personality of the year said this during their acceptance speech? My friend sent me an article which said I was duller than a weekend in Worthing. Which sports personality winner said this during their acceptance speech? My friend sent me an article which said I was duller than a weekend in Worthing. And now talking about weekends away, I know everyone is stuck inside, but what would you rather be doing if you could fly out? Boris rings up now and goes, listen, fellas, everyone, isolation's off. You can all go on holiday. Do not worry. Where would you go? I want to know. Hashtag BBC Sport Quiz. Let me know. I need some inspiration. I'm sad. I need it all. Question nine. Who said the infamous line, lions don't compare themselves to humans? Who said the infamous line, lions don't compare themselves to humans? And I can tell you now, for a matter of fact, it was not Exotic Joe. So just forget that straight away. And the, question, the answers are, there's three of them. So I'll go through them for you. Is it A, Anthony Joshua, B, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, or C, Usain Bolt? The question was, who said the infamous line, Lions don't compare themselves to humans. And out of the three possible answers, you have Anthony Joshua, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, or Usain Bolt. And now we are on the final round. We've flown through this. We could um, do double, I can't even lie. Final question of round three, question number 10. Which athletic star said this after winning a world title in 2019? I didn't want to cry, but it was definitely good tears. I've cried enough now to last me a career. Which athletic star said this after winning a world title in 2019? I didn't want to cry, but it was definitely good tears. I've cried enough now to last me a career. That might have been quite a lot of tears. Now that is the final round. Add up your total scores so far for round one and two. Let me know how you've got on. Hashtag BBC Sport Quiz. And if you missed any of the questions, do not forget, you can head over to our live page and they are all there. Now I'm going to get into some more tweets. Let me just get a grab a drink real quick. Oh, someone has come in with some absolute facts for me. I'm being schooled by Twitter here. If you put Michael Schumacher for cars, you also get a point. He was in Cars 1. Lewis Hammond was in Cars 2. So if you put that in the second round, um, is that gospel? Are we going to take that? Maybe that's like a half mark because I'm not really too sure. But I've been... Oh, it's right. It's definitely right. I've just been corrected. Yeah, so if you put Michael Schumacher in that question, you can have a point. Yeah, everyone gets one. Who, who cares? Next up. Okay. Jill, Jill, I'm respecting it. Jill M on Twitter has posted the picture of Jason Statham in his Commonwealth Games gear. Um, yeah, thank you for that. It's not quite transporter, but um, I can dig the look. I can dig, dig the look. So Julie Robertson has just said, going to do this quiz with my 84-year-old dad tomorrow over the phone. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. You know, that's what it's all about. Just bringing everyone together, like just 
if you're at home, give your friends a ring, give them a text, let everyone know how you are, see how people are doing, because it is a very, very strange time. David Townsend, please, can you give a shout out to Overston in Cumbria? Big up Overston, and apologies if that is not pronounced right. I am not doing that good. Um, Frank, quick one for you. I can confirm my dog is not called COVID. His name is Kobe. Um, I think that COVID is a bad name. I have thought that though, when I've been walking him and calling him, it does sort of sound like in my head, but it is definitely Kobe, K-O-B-E. Um, yeah, he's a good dog. He um, likes going out on walks, likes a good old treat. Actually, you know what? This is unrelated, but I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need it anyways. Can you please send in pictures of your pets? Hashtag BBC Sports Quiz. I know it has nothing to do with the quiz, but you know what? Let's just share the puppy love. You know what I mean? I want to see, I want to see all of your animals. Okay, TW12, 100 percent overall so far. The PK blinders go in strong. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, that is mad. Stuart says, this is harder than a question of sport. I don't know if that's a compliment or a cuss. I'm going to take it as a compliment. Although someone has got 100%, so maybe we need to get them on a question of sport because, yeah, they're about to take the whole trophy, the whole title, all of that. Let's get into the answers. Right. So I'm going to read out the question for you again and then provide you with the answer. Mark it down. Let's see how we're getting on. Question one. Which Premier League football manager said this? If you don't know the answer to the question, then I think you are an ostrich. And that was answer C, Nigel Pearson. I think he was manager of Leicester at the time. I remember seeing it and I was like, this is a bit crazy. Question two. At Wimbledon 2019, which tennis player said this to a journalist in post-match press conference? Please don't patronise me. In the way you're asking the question, you're being disrespectful and patronising. And the answer was British number one, Joanna Conta. So that was, please don't patronise me. In the way you're asking your question, you're being disrespectful and patronise me. And the answer was Joanna Conta. I remember watching that one, actually. Um, it was all over the news. And I think she had a point. I do think she had a point. I don't think the question was terrible, but the way the delivery and that you know, it, it gets obscure. It get, one of them. Right. Question three. Which footballing legend said this? When the seagulls follow the trawler, it is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. And the answer was Eric Cantona. So question three. When the seagulls follow the trawler, it is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. And that was Eric Can Cantona. Cantona? Can. You can. Eric Cantona. I've, I've got to stop and go to tweets real quick. This, Jamie Wazza, this is the highlight of our week, lockdown in the French Alps. You know what? That is, that must be crazy, actually. Is it, what's the word for saying up there? And their name is Balotelli, Balotelli Tubbies. Oh, cool, I got it in two. Balotelli Tubbies, which is actually really sick as well. Um, right, question four. Which MMA fighter said this? Me and Jesus are cool. I'm cool with the gods. Gods recognize gods. Conor McGregor. Obviously, it was Conor McGregor. I don't think anyone else is more brazen, is brazen enough to say something like that. Me and Jesus are cool. I'm cool with all the gods. Gods recognize gods. And that was number question number four. And the answer was Conor McGregor. Question five. In response to the question, what would you have been if you weren't a footballer? Which a former Premier League star said, a virgin. So what would you have been if you weren't a footballer? And he said, a virgin. And that was, of course, Peter Crouch. Um, I don't know if you listen to this podcast. This guy is hilarious. He's just so funny. So yeah, check that out because he is just a jokester. That was question five. And the answer was A, Peter Crouch. Question number six. Which boxer said this? Shame on you. You let a fat man beat you. I mean, if you're a professional boxer, I don't know if there's that much shame in getting beaten. But of course, it was Tyson Fury to Vladimir Klitschko. This guy is, he's just a, he's just a legend. I don't know if you lot have been watching it, but um, his workouts in the morning, he's inspiring. I love him. He's just so funny. 
Um, that was, shame on you, you let a fat man beat you. And the answer was Tyson Fury. Question number seven. Which female footballer said this after receiving criticism for her goal celebration? My celebration was actually more about that's the tea. Sophie, Dunner, Sophie Turner does it quite often. She's one of my favorite actresses. And uh, if you haven't already got it, I'm gonna, it's a little a little tip for you, one of these. Uh, cold tea, not great. And that answer was Alex Morgan. The American striker celebrated her goal against England in the 2019 Women's World Cup by sipping a tea. Um, yeah, as a, that, was, that was tough to take. Um, but yeah, she's a baller. That was Alex Morgan for question number seven. Number eight, which sports personality of the year winner said this during their acceptance speech? My friend sent me an article which said I was duller than a weekend in Worthing. And the answer was... Andy Murray after he won the BBC award in 2015. And now, you know what? If any of you lot are doing this, doing the quiz and you live in Worthing, tweet us in hashtag BBC Sport. Is it actually that dull or is he being not a nice geezer? And I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. I've seen dog photos and I can't not look. Lisa Wilkins, patch, absolutely adorable. Um, where are you walking? Are you just taking it out in the garden or what? Are you getting your one exercise a day using that? Um, but keep sending them in because I love animals. Catherine says, big shout out to Hershey and Jack, her rabbits. You know what? I've never actually owned a rabbit. Um, one of my friends had a rabbit as a kid and it was massive, like probably bigger than Kobe now, which is not that hard. But a rabbit, what do you do? Like, can you take that on Lee? Can you it, teach it tricks or is it just like wriggle its nose and that? Question number nine, we're still going through the answers. Who said the infamous line, lions don't compare themselves to humans? I gave you three possible answers and the answer was B, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I mean, was that ever in doubt? I mean, he probably says this stuff on a daily basis. That was the infamous line, lions don't compare themselves to humans and it was Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And the final question, which athletic star said this after winning the world title in 2019? I didn't want to cry, but it was definitely good tears. I've cried enough now to last me a career. And the answer was British heptathlete Katerina Johnson Thompson. I didn't want to cry, but it was definitely good tears. I've cried enough now to last me a career. And the answer was Katerina Johnson Thompson. And now listen, how much tears is that? What are we talking like? Six pints, maybe, of a career? How many tears? Um, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really too sure. Actually, you know what? Hashtag BBC Sport quiz. How how many tears in a career? I want liters, gallons, actually not gallons. I don't know how much that actually is. Yeah, let's do liters. Let me know. But guys, that is it from us. I've had an awesome time. I'm going to look, keep looking through all these tweets. <laughs> Warren Ballas has said, is this Sergio Romero presenting the quiz? I can confirm I am not Sergio Romero. I am, in fact, Liam Loftus. So, yeah, I guess, do we look alike? I've got, like, my hair up, so maybe that's making me look a little bit different. But, guys, that is it. We have come to the end of the first BBC Sport quarantine quiz. Well done to everyone who's taken part. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to join us next Friday. But until then, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the weekend. And you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of weather for you. I've seen that it's apparently meant to be 20 degrees on Sunday. So, yeah, make sure you stay safe, but catch a little bit of sunshine. We'll be back here next Friday. And, guys, thank you. Thank you so, so much. See you later.